How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing a cover up on my client's farm and it's gonna be insane. I, I can just feel it already. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. On my way to the consultation, I already have an idea of the approach that I want to take. I already saw what he has. And I think the best thing that we can do in this situation is do a color tattoo. I just got to talk to my client to see if he's open to the idea. My name is Steve Tillman uh, and I own Level 1 Arcade Bar. I was lurking on the Instagram page because I really like places like that. And man, the vibes looks fire, the food looks fire, the games look fire. I'm gonna be going there really soon with my wife as soon as we can. It's not a scar, so that's good. Yeah. I think the only dark area is the mouth. Right. How long ago did you get this tattoo? Ah, <sighs> probably four or five years ago. Yeah, I'm just like, okay. I don't know what's possible, you Yeah, know? there's honestly so much that we can do with this, but okay. I definitely want to know what you're you know what you're passionate about yeah you know, for i definitely sure. want to link it to you yeah as a okay. person as soon as me and my client started talking we clicked immediately we started vibing we started having a good conversation and he was really open to all my ideas but i definitely wanted to get to know him a little bit better so i can make this tattoo very personal and i wanted to make sure that the piece that he gets relates to him so i'm a big soccer player well i was at least um, interesting yeah so i did that for most of my life through college Big Manchester United fan. I'm an outdoorsman, so I love to hunt and fish and stuff like that. Love to camp. On the nerdier side, like I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. All of these are good options. Okay. All yeah. of them. Outdoors, yeah. nature, Yeah. Harry Potter for sure. The consultation yesterday was awesome. Uh, unlike anything I've experienced before, just very laid back, you know, breakfast setting. So we just got to kind of plan and take a look at what we were gonna do. I'm really happy that my client was really open to the idea of color. So now we're gonna be doing a color piece and the theme is going to be Harry Potter. I feel really excited walking in today. Um, something I've wanted to do for a long time now, so just looking forward to getting started. Oh, that's my jam right there. Yeah? That's my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Noche con noche, va creciendo más. Oh, I gotta get there. Look at this girl right here. <laughs> oh! Ooh, hits it. I got the chills. I got the chills. <laughs> Chicken skin, turkey pimples. <laughs> you don't have any hair, huh? I oh, shaved it Oh, you did. I'm <laughs> trying to make it a little easier for nice. you. Nice. <laughs> you already know. Yep. You already know. Putting on the stencil is gonna be a little bit different today just because I wanna try something different. Now, what I usually do is I put on the whole entire stencil like any other artist, but this time what I wanna do different is actually split my stencils in two parts. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the stencil on on the top area of the form, then execute it. Then what I'm gonna do is put the second stencil and get that done. I wanna give this a try, it's super different, but I just have this feeling that is the best approach that I can take for this project. And if everything goes the way I have, I have it in my mind, the way I visualized it, I'm gonna be doing this a lot more often. Ready? Yep. Let's get it! <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna hear a lot of singing today. Yeah, you're good, man. I sing my lungs out. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear, if you hear Alicia Keys in here, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> The cartridge that I'm gonna be using for the background in any areas that have solid black is gonna be an 11 curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0.
Now that I started doing the face, I wanted to try different cartridges just so I can pick the perfect one to execute the texture that I needed. So I started using a seven round liner, an 11 round liner, and a 14 round liner. And after using all three, I decided to stick with my 14 round liner because it was giving me the texture that I needed. And as you guys know, I started using my scribble technique, you know, because it is the one technique that I love doing to give me that texture, to make it look moist, to make it look like there's wrinkles, you know, so I started using it. By the way, thank you for everybody that messages me on Instagram telling me that the scribble technique has helped them a lot. That makes me really happy. What I'm doing right now is pretty much just navigating, just dipping my cartridge into different tones to see which one is gonna give me the tone that I need to make it look like the reference. I needed to get a specific tone, so I had to start dipping back and forth in my ink caps and figure out the sequence so I could keep getting the same tone over and over again. The most difficult part so far is just the work right in the ditch, right on the front side of the elbow. Uh, it gets a little spicy in there, but besides that, it's been really good. It's turning out better than I expected it to. You know, I know Kevin does great work, but um, just seeing it come to life has been phenomenal. It's, it's been a great process. Uh, the shop is cool. It's uh, good energy around here, good music. So we're just kind of hanging out and relaxing. I gotta say, working on the top and finishing that up definitely gives me that boost and that motivation to finish the bottom. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna use this technique again. After seeing my stencil, I realized that I had to use a seven round liner for the whole face. So that's what I started using. As far as the color that I'm using right here, it is turquoise from Radiant. Honestly, mm, I'm about to just buy a whole set from Radiant because Man, the colors are so bright. I'm gonna send them a DM because I gotta let them know how great their ink is. <laughs> My experience from start to finish with Kevin has been great. Like I said, from the consultation, um, I knew right then that it was just a completely different experience than I'd ever had with an artist before. Just much more grounded and uh, a lot of interest in what he was doing. Take the opportunity to work with Kevin. 
not only does his work speak for itself, but uh, just uh, how he works with you as an artist was really cool. It was, it was refreshing. It was nice to, to be a part of. Man, it was such an amazing day. I really enjoyed every part of it. The concept was awesome. My client was awesome. Great conversation, good vibes, good energy. I'm really happy the way it turned out. It has a whole bunch of texture, a whole bunch of contrast, and I just love the way it fits the placement. But thank you guys so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.